In this video, we look at the molar volume of a gas. At STP, which is standard temperature and pressure, and that's defined as a pressure of 101.3 kilopascals and 273 K, one mole of any gas occupies a volume of 22.4 decimeters cubed. So let's try some examples. The first example is, what volume does 32.00 grams of O2 occupy at STP? So we calculate the molar mass of O2, and that's equal to 32.00 grams per mole. So from this, we can see that 32.00 grams of O2 is equal to one mole of O2. Therefore, 32.00 grams of O2 occupy 22.4 decimeters cubed at STP. Let's try another example. What volume does 22.005 grams of CO2 occupy at STP? So we calculate the molar mass of CO2 and that's equal to 44.01 grams per mole. Next we have to calculate number of moles of CO2 and we use this equation here number of moles is equal to mass divided by molar mass. So the mass is 22.005, the molar mass of CO2 is 44.01, so that equals 0 0.5000 moles of carbon dioxide. So therefore, 0 0.5000 moles of carbon dioxide occupies the molar volume of a gas, which is 22.4, and we divide this by 2 because we only have half a mole of CO2. So therefore, at STP, 0 0.5 moles of CO2 occupy 11.2 decimeters cubed. So next we'll try an example using the molar volume of a gas. So the question is, what volume of hydrogen gas is produced at STP when 2.431 grams of magnesium react with excess hydrochloric acid according to the following equation? And the equation is magnesium reacting with hydrochloric acid to form magnesium chloride and hydrogen gas. So the first thing we need to do is to calculate the number of moles of magnesium using the equation n number of moles is equal to mass divided by molar mass. So we have the mass of magnesium is 2.431 grams and the molar mass of magnesium is 24.31 and that equals 0 0.1000 moles of magnesium. So next we need to determine how many moles of hydrogen gas will be produced. So we look at the ratio of magnesium to hydrogen. And if we look at the balanced equation, it's a one to one ratio. So the ratio of magnesium to hydrogen is one to one. So therefore, if we have 0 0.1000 moles of magnesium, that means we'll produce 0 0.1000 moles of hydrogen gas. So finally, we know that one mole of any gas occupies 22.4 decimeters cubed at STP. This is the molar volume of a gas. So the final step is to multiply the number of moles of hydrogen gas, which is 0 0.1000, times the molar volume of a gas, which is 22.4 decimeters cubed, and that equals 2.24 decimeters cubed at STP.